Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have created a calculator service. In this calculator service, we have created add and subtract method and we have also written the test cases for this add and subtract method also. Fine. So it is a simple service and for this service, the specs we have written, it is also very simple. Now, for example, let's say that we have another service. Let's say that we have a logger service. So whenever any operation is done in the add method or subtract method, we, we need to log it into the database or somewhat into the file or anything, whatever the resource we have where it, uh, according to the client requirement. So we need to provide it into the log. So let's try to implement this logger service. So for that implementation, so I am creating ng generate service in the services folder itself. I am creating a separate logger folder. In that logger folder, I am creating a logger service. Let's try to execute this one. So now it will create two files in same scenario how the calculator service has been created. One is logger.service.ts file. So here this is the logger.service.ts file and here logger.service.spec.ts file. The Angular CLI has generated the automatic test cases for this one. Now let's go to this logger service as we have already discussed the logger service means what it will try to do is so it will have a method something like log and this method it will take a message of type string okay so let's make it as simple i will be having a messages array of type string it is of type array now whenever this log message is called in any of the service or any component or anyway so we need to push this one into the messages array this dot messages dot push of message that's it so this is a simple logger service so we will write for this one also the spec uh, another time so let's try to implement this one as simple as possible we have a logger service and whenever we are trying to send a message we will push that one into the messages array that's it <coughs> now let's move on to this calculator service dot ts file in this calculator dot service dot ts file we need to use this logger service and this logger service, why we need to use this? Whenever the user calls this add method or subtract method anywhere in the components or anywhere, we need to log a message that add operation has been called and subtract operation has been called so that we will have a tracking for that one. So now in order to use this logger message, what we need to do? We need to inject the logger service. So let's go to the constructor and here private. So I am having logger service. So logger service. That's it. So we have used this one. Now, what I will try to do is, so I need to use this logger service. <coughs> Here, when we are calling this add operation, I will be using something like this dot logger service dot log message. And here I will try to add add operation is called. Okay. And the same logger service, I will try to use it here. Subtract operation is called. That's it. So this is the thing what I have implemented. Now, if you understand, if you try to understand, this calculator service is dependent on this logger service. If you can try to carefully understand. Previously, this calculator service is an isolated one. But now it is dependent on this logger service. Now let's go to this service.spec.ts file. If you go to this service.spec.ts file, now you understand, now you will be able to see here, we are able to see an error. That is why because when we are trying to create an instance for this calculator service, it is not able to create. Why? Because in the constructor, we need to provide the logger service. So logger service instance, this calculator service is dependent on the logger service instance. So now we, whenever we are trying to create an instance, we need to create the logger service instance also. So let's create the logger service. So for example, here in order to get the instance for this one, so we can write something like logger service is equal to new logger service, right? So let's import this logger service directly. So we have created this logger service and this logger service, we need to provide it here. <coughs> That's it. So here we have provided and now let me copy these two things and here also let, oh, sorry, let's copy this logger service and let's try to call here also and I will be using this logger service here that's it now whenever you are cre uh, creating this calculator service 
Now this calculator service is dependent on the logger service. So for that reason, we have created the logger instance, new logger service, and this logger instance we are injecting into the calculator service. Now when we whenever we are calling this calculator dot add method, okay. So whenever we are calling uh, whenever we are ca calling this calculator add method, so this logger dot service dot log also will be called. Now let's try to see this one. So if we try to see here, so everything got executed, and if I try to see here, so we got. So calculator service, these two got test cast passed. Now the scenario is, what is the problem is, <coughs> not a problem. So now when we go to this calculator dot service dot spec file, here we need to understand one thing. Why? Because so we are creating the instance of this logger service, and in the instance of this logger service, what we are trying to do here. And what what we are trying to do here? So we are injecting into this one, and this log method also will be called automatically when we are calling this calculator dot add method in the test case. So the problem is, so for example, if you understand this calculator log logger dot service dot ts, you are having a log message here. Just we are pushing these messages into an array. So there will be a situation in a such a way that so this uses some expensive resources, something like it uses the HTTP call or making to a database or making to the third party calls or anything. To push that messages to the another another third party API, so that means you need to make sure that whenever we are calling this uh, calculator dot service dot uh, spec dot ts file add method, we need to make sure that this logger service dot add method should be called only once. That is the reason, right? So here we are calling only once cali logger service dot log. So we are calling only once this one. So we need to make sure that. This logger service log log method has to be called only once, either in add method or in subtract method. Now here, what we need to do? So here we need to check that whether this log method has been called or not. If it is called, means so we need to make sure that it has been called only once. So that is the main scenario we need to understand. So if it is called only once, means so it will be what I can say. So it is using the expense resource only once only. If it is calling multiple times, means it should not happen like that. So because of that scenario, we need to use this. We need to check that one logger service log method has been called only once or not when this add method or subtract method is called. And also another thing, what we need to understand is, so we in the testing scenario, we should not call the direct logger service lo logger service log method. We should not call it. Why? Because while we are testing, also it is calling the actual method, actual logger service method log method, and it is executing the logic here. So here, whatever the logic, so if it is having having the third party API calls or anything. So this test case also will try to call those all things and it will try to push it to third party ABA. This should not happen like that. So that means we need to create a, in such a way that dummy logger service in that one it should have a log method which does not do anything and we need to check that whether the logger service has been called or not. Log method has been called or not. So for this one, what we will try to use, we will try to use the Jasmine Spice. So as we already know about that one, Jasmine Spice we have already implemented in the Jasmine Complete Course tutorial. So there we can where there we have. Uh, talked about this Jasmine Spice so much. So here, let's try to implement that same Jasmine Spice, Jasmine Spy, Spy for this logger service, and we'll try to do it in the next video. Hope you understood about this one, injecting the uh, other service into a service, and in the next video, we'll see about this Jasmine Spice. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.